Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, this is the Expert Sleepers ES9, and this is my new studio. So before we actually have a look at the ES9, I do have to thank Expert Sleepers for sponsoring this video. And as you might have already guessed, this is going to be a well, a bit of a different video than you're used for me. So this is not going to be a deep dive. This is not going to be a demo. This is just going to be a showcase of how you can combine the ES9 with your physical rack and VCV rack. And this is the first of a series, so you will see other videos where I'm going to combine my physical rack with virtual appliances, like for instance Ableton Live and their CV tools. And I will be using the ES9 as that bridge between the physical and the digital world. And I hope you guys will join me for that, because this is a great module, it's a big one but it is worth its weight in HP, if you ask me, because this truly is that gate that we're all looking for. So uh, I would say, without further ado, here we go. So let's start with a, well, up close inspection of the actual module. So here we have eight outputs and you've got 14 inputs. So in the VCV context, that means Okay, we've got eight lines of communication we can get from VCV rack, and we have 14 lines of communication we can send to VCV rack. Um, Expert Sleepers, of course, does offer expansion cards that you can add right next to your uh, ES9 to expand on the number of these interfaces. Uh, next to that, you've got your headphone output, you've got your monitor output, and you've got a uh, digital output and input there as well. Personally, I haven't used any of these on the right hand side. I've only been using the, well, let's call them the normal interfaces. And those have given me so much pleasure. Um, other than that, I can of course truly attest to the build quality that well, Oz and his team have put into this module. It's a great module. It's easy to install. Uh, you can install it in a well, in a lower, well, in a lower case, like like for instance the rack brute that I'm using right now, um, yeah, and it's just a beautiful, uh, well, thing to work with. So, with that being said, uh, let's start up VCV rack and let's show you how you can use this uh, in combination with VCV rack and how you can truly combine and bridge that gap between the digital world and the physical world there as well. I'll be right back. So I would say let's start by uh, starting VCV rack. And just like in cooking shows, I did prepare something ahead of time. So I've got the digital version of Platts. I've got the Bifaco Rampage. And I've got a couple of scopes to show you what we can do with them. So that being said, let's uh, dive right in, shall we? So how about we try to see what we can get out of Rampage and see how we can use that in our setup. So what we could do is we can do a simple patch. And I always like to use the, uh, well, the, the, the swirly bird kind of patch that you can do on the, on the Rampage. Uh, just like you can do on a uh, on a maths or any other function generator. So I'm just going to connect A and B together, and I've got your rising and falling. Oh, oh geez, I've got to go do that to fall in. And if we then trigger that, we actually have some nice things that we can patch into our scope. And if we then play with the time a bit, you'll see that we have very interesting shapes that we are developing. So how about we now patch one of them to the device. So keep in mind that even though the things here are numbered one to eight, that those correspond to the nine to 16 things on the VCV rack. So if I now say I want to grab the, uh, the maximum there, you'll now start to see the actual output module lighting up. So we can then indeed use that. So I can now say I want to use that 
to influence the cutoff frequency of my filter there. So if I then grab, let's say, the volt productive on the owner, and we are then patching that through to the, sorry, I need to learn how to patch and grab this and send it to our mixer. And if we then you now hear what sort of influence the Bafaco Rampage in VCV rack has on my filter there. If I then change that around to say what well, you know what, I want to grab the minimal one. That's maybe even more interesting, right? Well, that's one thing. So this is how easy it is to take some sort of CV signal from VCV rack and pass that to your physical modules. It's very easy, it's very straightforward. And the other thing you can then do is also do it the, the other way around. So, you know, I've got, I'm, I'm using the Hermit to, well, to place my sequences. So how about if we grab a sequence from Hermit and send that on the first channel to VCV rack. And we do the same thing for the gates. And we send that on channel number two. You immediately start to see the actual well connectors lighting up there which is I, I i can't stress how interesting i find that idea and how much i would love for other well manufacturers to take on that same design approach where you can actually see what you're doing but you also see what's going out there so you see everything moving from red to blue and you see them pulsing it's just such a great piece of visual feedback. And I would love to see that in other modules as well. So uh, manufacturers, take note, please. <laughs> you don't have to listen to me, no worries there. So what we can now do is say, okay, from device, we can say the first one goes to uh, the Volt Proactive there, but also let's do that for the scope so we can see what we actually have. So if I then turn the time down, you can actually start to see what the actual sequence is. There we go, we have the sequence and we also have the actual gates. There we go. So we have the gates there, patch that to trigger and the output, we can patch that through to, let's say number three of the outputs. There we go. And let's grab a cable and you can immediately see that we have that lighting up a bit of purplish because it's of course a an audio signal that goes from positive to negative fairly quickly and we can immediately hear something that we immediately recognize as plats being it being used So even though I don't have plats, it's still on my on my shopping list, to sort of say. Uh, I can already start experimenting with how that works in combination with my physical uh, modules. So a couple of things that you need to keep in mind is you can do this with the ES9 from Expert Sleepers. You can also do this same thing with the ES8 or with another DC coupled audio interface. Because if you don't have a DC coupled interface, the only thing you can do in com combining VCV rack with your physical modules is audio signals. You can't do anything with CV. So always good to keep that in mind. So as mentioned, the ES9 is of course a purpose built audio interface specifically meant to bridge that gap between the physical and the, well, the digital world of VCV rack or 
any other well, programs that you might want to use to manipulate CV or to process CV or to process audio. So I think it's there is nothing out there that you can compare this to. And I think that the whole team and expert sleepers t r truly deserve a round of applause for the uh, for the great idea to build something like this and make it make it into something that is readily available out there for enthusiasts on physical euro rack but also on the the virtual world like for instance on cv rack this is a great piece of machinery that truly bridges that gap and that gives me as a as an enthusiast the chance to play with virtual modules as if they are already in my rack and it also gives me the the chance to manipulate what i have in my vcv rack with my physical devices because i truly see that i love vcv rack don't get me wrong uh, but there nothing beats just physically jumbling m with with knobs or changing parameters around uh, by hand and it's something that you can do at the same time. And that's something you simply can't do in VCV rec with a mouse and a keyboard. Um, there are of course other peripherals that you can use to, to achieve that, but nothing beats the physical experience if you ask me. But using the ES9 in combination with VCV rec, it truly is a game changer for me. And you're gonna be seeing me using that much more going forward in my reviews and in my demos. So that being said, I would say let's go back to the studio and uh, let's see what else we have to uh, to say about the ES9. Talk to you in a bit. So I truly hope you enjoyed this video on the Expert Sleepers ES9. I personally think it is one of those modules you can't go without and especially for people who have a healthy VCV rack addiction plus a well reasonable Eurorack setup, you need to have something that bridges that gap and the ES9 is of course purpose built for that and you can't go wrong by adding this to your rack if you ask me. I would have to apologize as well for, um, for slacking a bit. As you can see, this is now filmed in my new studio. So we were busy with the actual house move as well. So I will be back to my regular update cycle in a, uh, in a few days. Uh, but until then, please bear with me and I will be back on that same release schedule. Um, if you do have some sort of feedback on the lighting or on how I film these videos, please do not hesitate to leave a comment below uh, this video and please do because I can only learn and grow based on your feedback I've asked several people to give me some some advice and they've done so and I do have to thank all of them for doing doing so uh, but I'm doing this for myself and of course for you the viewers so if there is anything you would like to see different please let me know there as well other than that I would like to ask everyone to like and subscribe because that will increase well the the amount of views I get, which will indeed turn out to uh, uh, to increase my chances of getting uh, more videos out there, and of course it will help the channel to grow. Um, other than that, I would say well thanks again for joining. I do have to thank Expert Sleepers again for sponsoring this episode, and I would have to say please everyone stay safe, stay healthy. And I hope to see you for my next video. Until then, I would say cheers. Bye-bye.